if you're looking for overly optimistic positivity about the Mariners right now, please watch the next video because this is not going to be it. You're listening to the Sports on Tap Seattle podcast. I'm Sammy and with me as always is my older brother, George. Your favorite place to be a fan of Seattle sports. Now let's get this party started. Gino, are you ready? Are you ready? You ready? The Mariners, of course, are three and four after the first seven games of the season. And it's been a seven game homestand. But it's been awful. And this is the problem. I I would usually not talk about how big of a deal a three and four start is, especially for a Seattle Mariners team that tends to start slow and tends to have trouble scoring runs with the Marine layer at home. But it's a minus 14 run differential in the first seven games against the Red Sox, who are not supposed to be that good, and against the the Cleveland Guardians, who are not the best staff in the world. Two and a half, 2.4 runs per game and a minus 14 run differential. That's pretty bad considering the whole situation. And you have to watch the games to really understand what I'm talking about. If you've been following on the radio, maybe, or if you've just been following the record and the scores, it won't be understandable. But it's been abysmal. It's been an awful product on the field. Defensively, it's been an embarrassment. You guys, you have guys like J.P. Crawford and Polanco tripping over each other, and you have embarrassing play at third base and you have a lot of balls going under people's gloves in the outfield adding bases and today uh, a a stolen base and the catcher Sebi uh, Zavala throws it over the guy's head and then another bad throw here and a bad throw into the dirt from third to first it has been abysmal Luis Castillo got shook up George Kirby got shook up both against the Cleveland Guardians so yes it's been pretty bad and it's, at the same time, extremely impressive that they're three and four. It's like literally extremely impressive. I don't even know what other words to use then. How are they three and four? They're batting 136 and they have 74 strikeouts through seven games. Let me say that one more time. The Mariners are batting 196 with 74 strikeouts through seven games. And remember, everyone they got rid of, Gino, Kelnick, Teoscar Hernandez, they are all were supposed to be gone because of strikeouts. Instead, the strikeouts got worse. And this was before today's game, before April 3rd, before when we were 3-3. Three and three. I just wanted to say it's kind of funny because it's it, this was through six games. But I saw this by uh, 206 Hoops. It's a tweet. The Mariners remain in a tight race with their former trio after six games. Teoscar, Gino, and Kelnick had 16 RBIs, five homers, and 14 runs through six games. The entire Mariners team had 17 RBIs, one more than them, uh, four home runs, so less, and 17 runs. So they had three more runs and one more RBI. The entire Mariners team, then Gino, Teoscar, and Kelnick through six games. So that kind of explains where we're at. And... You know, the big advantage that that the Mariners were supposed to have is we're always good defensively. Um, We have the best pitching staff in baseball. The last two games, the defense has been pathetic. George Kirby got rocked. Luis Castillo got rocked. And then when you have bad starts from guys like Julio Rodriguez and every important player on the team, it makes it impossible to watch this team and think, that things are going well. I will say Ty France looks better this year and Mitch Hanniger looks good so far. That's all I got. I mean, I I have no other positive words other than those. And the fact that like today was game seven of the year and the Mariners were down eight. Oh, I was watching Josh Rojas, our platoon third baseman pitching seven games in the season down eight, nothing on a day. George Kirby was pitching at, at home the last of seven game homestand to win the series. You're down eight. two series in tied one, lost one. 2024 is off to a hellish start. And it's, that's just been what it is, right? Like guys tripping over each other, strikeout galore and 
awful vibes. I think I tweeted it two hours ago. What time was it? It was one twenty one. So it was 11 minutes after the game started. I said, the Mariners are getting booed by the crowd in the first inning. Vibes are awfully low. And that's what was happening. They were getting booed 11 games in the minute. 11 minutes into the game. And I'm tired of it. It sucks. Now, as I said, it's it's early. I mean, I made this as a joke the last time. Uh, I think I tweeted this yesterday before we were 3-4. and four, so We were 3-3. and three. I said, hey, no worries. As long as we hover around 500, maybe we'll go on another 15-game winning streak. It feels like the last three seasons or last two, I guess, not three, we've had to either get like a set, the, the greatest hitting streak in the history of an MLB player for like five games in Julio Rodriguez. We had 17 straight out bats with a hit. And that's when our season popped off with like a 10, 11 game winning streak. The year before it took a 15 game winning streak while we're third or fourth in the division. How many years can we do that though? Right now, maybe that's just what happens with this team. Maybe once the weather shapes up better in Seattle and the ball travels further and there's something about our confidence. This team just is a weird team. But it's also not all the same guys this year. They also got rid of Gino, which was absolutely the clubhouse king. They got rid of Kelnick, which was supposed to be part of the young future. And I know Julio had a good relationship with him. Teoscar Hernandez, I know, struggled at home last year, but he was actually one of our best batters. So all these things combined, it's hard to be positive right now. But I just will say it is three and four. All of a sudden, we play, I think it's Milwaukee next. You go play that, those games. If you sweep them, all of a sudden, you're like, oh, season's fine. So that's baseball. Um, but this one's tough considering tomorrow's off. So we just have like almost, you know, 48 hours more than, I guess, more than 48 hours could still be a night game almost. But to ponder this and think about it, and that fucking sucks. Like the th- fact that we have to sit here and think about this one for this many days really is tough. Now, as I've been saying this whole time, it is early. So I'm, I'm a realistic, you know, fan. And if you want me to come on here and act like a media member and be like, Oh, it's all good. It's baseball. I'm not going to do that. I'm, I, this platform is meant for saying what we feel as a fan today. Right now, I feel like shit. I feel like this is, I feel like, (laughs) you know, the, the memes dip, the, the dip over the uh, depoto it's over meme or the the choke artist julio Rodriguez is meme this is how i feel i i put this on our mariners on tap twitter is the eliminated thanks fans uh seven games into 2024 it's been crazy and it's felt like a fuck you from the organization considering the fact they got rid of gino and t oscar and this and like we thought maybe okay garver and polanco and all these guys maybe we did figure out the replacements but so far, it feels like we absolutely have not. Anyways, I'm really hoping the next time I'm on this microphone, maybe in two to three days, it comes after a win or two. And the whole optimism, the whole vibe is different. I'm hoping. So keep our fingers crossed. Let's hope that is the scenario. And I love y'all. Go Mariners. Please, please Mariners. Please go win the next game. We need it badly. The vibes are bad. Love y'all. Peace.